a shame it's closed, isn't it? No kidding. I wish I could go on and revisit what I experienced 11 years ago. We're sort of coming back again. No other option. Hello. I hope it's running. Did you see it when you were here? It's not. What time did you get here? About 15, uh, 20 minutes ago. There's signs in the window saying it's not running. I, cause I called. We called earlier and someone picked up, and so I figured they were open, but then they came down here and they're not. Okay. So I mean, the tracks flooded it out down below further. Yeah. It's a shame. We got all our camera equipment to film off the trolley too and everything. Already? Yeah. Well, have fun. Yeah, thanks. Well, at least we try though. What'd you say? I was just telling to them, at least it was a try, you know? So where do you want to go? You have the whole city of Bismarck, where do you want to go? No. Capitol building, I guess. Is that the tallest building? 19? Yeah, it should be pretty obvious that it's the tallest building. Let's do it. So, you want to get going now? Lead the way. How did you, uh, what way did you go to get up the stairs? What way did you go? You went this way to come down the stairs. What way did you go to go up the stairs? Right. Up that way? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. That slope. Hmm. It was easier than going down. Man. Oh. Totally forgot about, I totally forgot about your stairs. I thought you said you could go down them though. They have actresses, ball players. There's a mother of 18 kids. So it's kind of fun to see who's from North Dakota. Anyone born here or living here for a significant amount of time in their life can be nominated. Then the governor, the secretary of state, and the superintendent of the historical society review the nominees and decide who qualifies. Not a yearly thing, just whenever someone meets the qualifications. We're gonna head on up to the first floor and we can take these stairs right behind us over here. I don't know if you guys can take stairs. Do you wanna take the elevator? Uh, uh, <laughs> You'd prefer the elevator? <laughs> we can go down to the elevator if you guys are interested. Oh, is that short? Yes, a marble from western Montana. The floors and the stairs are a Tennessee marble, and the black wall is black marble from Belgium. Hanging right in the center is our great seal. That was just mounted in 2006, so it's relatively new to our Capitol building. The Secretary of State petitioned for five years to have a large version of the seal put in a place of prominence 
so all the details could be given their due. This one is six feet in diameter and weighs 440 pounds. The plaque beneath it is 570 pounds and together they cost $48,000. They were made by a metal arts company right over in Mandan and that company started out by making branding irons for farmers and ranchers. Something else I want to make sure you notice are the chandeliers above us. They represent heads of wheat. Each one is 12 feet long, weighs a thousand pounds, and has 109 light bulbs. As you can see, we don't turn them on all of the time, usually just at night or during special events. There's 42 stars on our seal. That's the number of states that were part of the United States at the end of 1889. North Dakota itself was the 39th state. We're going to head down this way. Let's For those who can't visit our Capitol firsthand, we broadcast the House and the Senate live over the internet every day of session as well, just to keep it as public as possible. The wood on the walls is American chestnut, the desks are American walnut, and the light design on the ceiling symbolizes the full moon and the stars. That's what the designer Edgar Miller had in mind back in the 1930s. Are there any questions? What's the current Democrat Republican? Well, Republican is the majority. I'm not sure of the exact ratio though. How come we can't go any further than this? Oh, they just keep it closed off when they're not in session, um, just so it won't mess mm -hmm. up the carpet or something like that. Oh, okay. Now, this wasn't our first Capitol building. We had an original Capitol right on these grounds, but it burned down in 1930. That's when we started construction on our skyscraper Capitol. It's actually a pretty unique shape. Only three other states have skyscraper capitals. There's Louisiana, Nebraska, and Florida. Most of the others will have a dome-shaped capital. Now we're gonna pass by the other revolving door. So I mentioned this one, but I have a figure that represents mining. Uh, mining was another main industry in North Dakota. Also, as we go, we're gonna pass by the governor's office on your right and the attorney general's office on your left. So that's where they come into work. They can crop it, don't worry.
goes as Chief Justice. Our courtroom is named after him. Now we will get to go see the courtroom, but I have to turn some lights on first, so if you guys want to wait right here, I'll be right back. I don't know. I might be away around. Okay, you guys can come on in. Yeah, with that mirror there, I ain't gonna be able to get in. I'm going to have to wait for them to come back before they can get any further. Where's this big thick thing here? Is this what well, it's supposed to get to? Couldn't get in there, it's blocked. just a back entrance to the Secretary of State's office. So that's all it's used for. We're in here to look at the walls. May not seem like anything at first. Take a closer look. This is called the monkey room because people would come in here and see monkey faces in the design of the wood. Now, if you use your imagination, it's not just monkeys. I can see horses or wolves or Dogs, it's really up to you. Like this resembles kind of a ghost in a way. A ghost? Car yeah, cartoon style ghost. I can see like a bear or... There's some kind of weird monster. <laughs> I get a lot of monsters when I bring people in here. They say monsters or creatures. Is it true this is built for security? Yes. <laughs> Now, this wood is extremely rare, California walnut. We have been told we have almost one-third of the world's supply right in this room. Um, so it's very rare. It was actually sent to us by mistake in the 30s. Uh, we ordered something different from California, got this instead, so we're very lucky that we have it as well, since it is so rare, and I just think it's fun to look around and see what you can pick out. Now you guys can look around for a little longer, and then we're going to head back out and go down to the elevators. Okay, down to the elevators, up to the 18th floor. Only this elevator goes all the way to 18, the other three go to 17, so just one floor from the top. Um, there's 12 of us, including me, I think we should all fit in one elevator yeah. ride. <laughs> well, the maximum capacity is 15, and at quitting time, I think we fit a couple more, and then that too, so. 
Just make sure you don't max out the elevator in terms of weight. Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not worried at all. Just squeeze in here. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't want to take off, I'm going to jump. Oh, yeah, that sounds... Shove it in my face. Yeah, there you go. Wait till you just make up for one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do this again. And it shouldn't take very long. The elevators go relatively fast. A little over 10 seconds should get us to the top. Mm. Yeah, I noticed that there was like a quarter G pole on there. Yeah. This is like three quarters G. Mm -hmm. Going down. Going down. Yeah. Now there was suspicion around the fire in the legislature the year before. We asked for a new capital and got turned down. And then this one burned down. So it did cause suspicion, but the official story is the oily bags. Now after that burned, we got our new skyscraper capital built in the 1930s. You can see pictures of the construction along the wall behind us. Now, the workers were making 30 cents an hour. They actually went on strike because they wanted 20 cents more. Um, a couple riots broke out, people got injured, uh, so Governor Langer used martial law to get them to go back to work. He did compromise, he gave the common workers a 10 cent raise and the cement and steel workers a 20 cent raise, which was practically unheard of at the time, he almost doubled their salary. Now the whole 18th floor is open for observation so you can look out in every direction. This is where the tour ends, but you guys can stay up here as long as you like and come down whenever you want. Oh, there's that flower thing that I was thinking of. What's that short little building there? With the columns? Yeah, with the columns. That's Liberty Memorial Building. It's used as our state library today. That was built in the 20s, so it's now our oldest building on these grounds. 20s? Wow. Several billion cities. <laughs> Oh, good. That's great. It's kind of boring on the outside. <laughs> Ours is very old. It's still in use. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a question. How high is, if I'm looking pretty much straight down where the ground is, what's the vertical span? The height, you know? From here, I'm actually not positive. I know the top of the building is 241 feet and 8 inches. Um, but then down just one floor, so I'm not good to think. So probably like 230 then? Somewhere around there, I would assume. Yeah, because each floor is typically like 10 feet, give or take some. So I was just wondering what the actual height was. It's a pretty good fraction of a mile. Well, it's not a lot much of a mile. Well, no, but I think it's a good hike. That's yeah, very nice views from here. Especially since everything is so flat in North Dakota, basically. Well, yeah, being so tall, you can see so far. Our tangent of the distance and all that stuff. Now you've got the earth curvature to throw in, just going to throw these things out. I suppose it would. Yeah, this is nowhere near high enough to see the curvature of the planet. How high would it have to be? This is a few good. miles. And that's where it just begins to get a hint of it. Some buildings in the area are They're nowhere near right? Yeah, that would be pretty. The height of an aerial line at normal cruising height, like 39,000 feet or something, just barely more than high. I don't know. I mean, if you're 62 miles high, it's basically the height at which you become an astronaut. And you can see the curvature quite well, although it's still kind of land. It's a giant ball, you know. It takes a lot of distance to see the sphere. <laughs> kind of funny thing. Well, I never think about things like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think things for scientific kind of point of view. Mathematics, game programming. <laughs> <laughs> the 
game, my own game platform masters, you can really get fast. There's a game presenter too. Oh, okay. Then all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, that's what they're doing with documentary. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, I better head downstairs in case I got another two or three. But thank you can guys for coming. Oh, yeah, of course. Can you just go ahead and tell us your name and so that we have permission to it's just spell it out if you could. Okay, my name's Taryn Chase. That's T A R Y N. My last name C H A S E. And I guess you have permission to show my image. Is that it? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, Thanks for Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's have a great day. It's a you tour. have a good day and good tour. Yeah, thanks. You want to stay up here for the longer, Nick? Mm -hmm. Well, there isn't much that I can think of that I could also get. <clears throat>